It's one of the brightest appearances in the night sky. Betelgeuse, the red giant in the constellation Orion. Many amateur astronomers know it as a striking, reddish shimmering spot, but Betelgeuse will probably not shine in the sky for much longer. The star has inflated to a red giant and will soon burn up as a supernova in a huge explosion. At 700 light years away, this event will not exactly take place in our neighborhood, but is the Earth in serious danger from Betelgeuse's explosion? If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Betelgeuse, the Red Giant Betelgeuse comes from Arabic and means Hand of the Giant. Other names for this star are Shoulder of Orion or Orionis. In German, the Red Giant is sometimes written Betelgeuse, which is due to a historical translation error. The gigantic dying star is one of the most beautiful astronomical phenomena in the night sky. Any of us can easily find it and admire it with the naked eye. In its home constellation Orion, only the star Regal shines brighter than Betelgeuse. Its red shimmer makes this red giant nevertheless unmistakable. The fact that Betelgeuse is a dying star has been known to science since the middle of the 20th century. In antiquity, when nothing was known about supernovae and the limited lifetime of stars, it was simply thought to be a particularly large and bright star. Navigators use Betelgeuse for orientation. Due to its reddish flicker, the red giant found its way into numerous legends of ancient and indigenous people around the world. It has attributed magical properties and was also called Betelgeuse, the great announcer. What happens when a star dies? Betelgeuse is comparatively young, with a calculated age of about 8 million years. Our Sun is already well over 4.5 billion years old. It is by no means one of the big stars, like Betelgeuse, which live longer than the tiny ones. On the contrary, most known giant stars have a comparatively short lifespan of only a few tens of millions of years. Betelgeuse was probably already a very large but not particularly dense star before it developed into a red giant. In its current state, Betelgeuse has a diameter that is many times larger than the Sun, and although its fuel reserves are decreasing, it shines 10,000 times brighter. When the fuel supply of a star is finally exhausted, it will eventually collapse under its own weight. In their last years of life, stars change in several phases. Changes in the burning processes will initially lead to an enormous expansion. Towards the final stage, a star glows brightly as a supernova. Supernovae observed so far showed light intensities that briefly exceeded the luminosity of all stars in our Milky Way by a thousand times. Then, the stars collapse into themselves. The dying phase of a star can last for thousands of years. Researchers suspect that Betelgeuse's final explosion will occur within the next 100,000 years. Is Betelgeuse's explosion imminent? In 2019, something strange happened in the night sky. Betelgeuse darkened. The red giant suddenly lost about 40% of its luminosity. In observatories around the world, astronomers held their breath. They suspected that the giant was about to explode. But while some were convinced that darkness was heralding the final phase, others waved goodbye. If there was any visible change at all before the Big Bang, the red giant would have to become much brighter rather than darker. On Earth, the event would be noticed by measuring instruments, the neutrinos, and gravitational waves. We Earthlings must be aware that we will not learn of Betelgeuse's death until about 700 years after the actual event. This is how long it takes for light to reach us. Theoretically, the giant may already have exploded. In fact, the temporary darkness of the star turned out to be a relatively normal phenomenon of wandering star spots. Also, possibly a large-scale repulsion of dust has taken place. However, since April 2020, Betelgeuse shines again, stable in its old luminosity. 
the stellar observatories have given the all clear, for the time being at least. What will we see on Earth when the time comes? Of course, researchers are extremely interested in this rare event, which will take place in our nearest cosmic environment. Curious scientists have set about creating computer simulations. What will it look like when the red giant explodes? The simulations show a glaringly bright red inferno. As a supernova, Betelgeuse will probably shine as bright as the full moon for a short time. The phenomenon will shine in the sky for several months and will also be clearly visible to the naked eye during the day. But so far, everything is only conjecture and simulation. But so far, all of this remains conjecture and simulation. No two stars in this universe are alike. Researchers at the University of California used data from the 1987A supernova explosion as the basis for their calculations. This is the last known star to have collapsed in previous centuries. Supernova 1987A was discovered in the Large Magellanic Cloud on February 24, 1987. The Large Magellanic Cloud is a dwarf galaxy which is in close proximity to the Milky Way. However, at about 16,000 light years away, this event was much further away than Betelgeuse will be. Supernovae of the last centuries visible from Earth. The first supernovae of modern times were observed in 1572 by the Dutch astronomer Tycho Brahe. He also coined the term nova. Tycho Brahe initially assumed that only the birth of a new star could cause such a bright light. Nova is derived from the Latin word stem, new. In 1604, the German astronomer Johann Kepler and colleagues in Italy and Asia observed a supernova in the constellation of Serpent Bearers. Kepler also thought that the apparition was the birth of a new star. Supernova was visible for almost half a year in 1604. It was not until 1941 that astronomers with a much improved telescope were able to see that there was only a glowing nebula at the site of the supposedly new star of 1604. Since this time, new knowledge about the explosion of stars has developed. There are probably between 20 and 30 supernovae in the Milky Way within a millennium, six of which could be observed consciously. Many supernovae are not visible from Earth because a part of the Milky Way cannot be detected by telescopes due to the spiral shape of the galaxy. Is our life on Earth endangered by Betelgeuse? According to experts, we're safe. Whenever the star explodes, the lethal radiation will scatter to such an extent that only a weak portion will reach us. A supernova would have to occur within a few dozen light years to really harm us. Some scientists believe that the UV layer of the Earth could change for a time due to the neutrinos and gravitational waves. The UV radiation would then somewhat increase. For us humans, this would mean that we would need a little more sunscreen to protect ourselves. The growth of plants or a negative effect on the climate is not yet assumed. Since the light will shine as brightly as the moon for some time, animals could thus be confused. Several species orient themselves by the moonlight. The increasing and decreasing play of light serves them as an indicator, just like the rhythm of day and night. Watching Betelgeuse's explosion will be a challenge. Astronomers currently face a completely different problem. Of course they want to observe, record, and study the event. But in the end, Betelgeuse will shine much brighter than all the stars of the Milky Way together for only a few seconds. All telescopes and every human eye would perceive nothing but unbearable light. If the event can be foreseen, all observatories, and also the Hubble Space Telescope, will be adjusted so that they collect less light. Then, the observation should be possible. If the star explodes without warning, astronomers will probably not get to see any more than layman's on Earth. Even in the time after the event, stargazing would be limited for a while. Astronomers already have difficulties to see the starry sky from the Earth at full moon. This is similar to how the starry sky over cities that are brightly lit at night is less visible. Can the all-clear be given? 
the question of whether we on Earth are threatened by supernova explosions cannot be answered conclusively. Researchers suspect that it was a supernova in the vicinity of the Earth that was involved in the mass extinction of many animals and plant species 2.6 million years ago. About 252 million years ago, an even more dramatic change had occurred. At that time, due to as yet unexplained influences, about 96% of the animal species in water and 70% of the vertebrate species on land became extinct. As we know today, life has recovered and continued to develop despite these influences. Currently, astronomers are researching the phenomenon of the Wolf Riot stars. These perish with an eruption of gamma rays. The funnels of these phenomena shoot across the galaxy and have a so far unknown range. The nearest candidates of this class are about 1,000 light years away. Whether we can be hit by such a derived gamma ray burst is still unclear at the moment. Overall, Supernovae are still such mysterious events that researchers can only make educated guesses. For this reason, it could be life-saving to learn more about stars in their final phase. Betelgeuse's explosion would provide valuable data on this. But whether today's scientists will still see the phenomenon with their own eyes remains uncertain. It's for sure that we on Earth are never entirely safe from cosmic influences. But to be afraid of them or to worry about them every day would be an exaggeration. How do you feel about it? Do you find supernovae or the mysterious events in space threatening or fascinating? And would you like to see the supernova Betelgeuse with your own eyes? Leave us a comment and write your opinion on the topic.